So uh, let's address the munchies. So I work from home a lot and especially on days when I do a lot of design work, I tend to get a lot of cravings um, because my mind is just not that you know actively engaged although it does depend on what I'm designing so like most of you I do find myself wandering in the kitchen and just you know grazing and just on, almost on a reflex and uh, I do like most of us tend to go for the you know the sweet the chocolate the sweet stuff because you know it's completely normal they're easy convenient that's what they're designed for you know when you have like one or two you know chocolatey snacks or sweet snacks a day that's fine you know uh, it's not overkill um, but then what do you do for the other uh, other times that you get old <coughs> okay this vlogging thing is great I love the weather and things but birds scare me whenever I don't see them see I'm not paying attention to the birds so suddenly they fly off and just and then flies just keep hitting me in the nose. So you tell me what you think about this. <laughs> I have had trouble with um, my food consumption um, and controlling my weight because of stress and other things for years. Ever since I was five, I was having uh, trouble with it. So it's been a long time since uh, I was five and um, I decided that, that it's about time that I get a handle on this and try to control it permanently and if you have followed previous videos you will know how I'm doing it uh, but essentially it has a lot to do with knowing what I'm eating ever since I started this whole um, you know knowing what I'm eating thing which uh, I definitely recommend because I think everybody should know um, what they're putting in their body we should be taught the how to do it and it's a, a huge flaw that we're not tracking what we eat and basically knowing what we're putting in the body very often has a sort of taboo around it people have a tendency to kind of jump on oh you know be careful tracking your, your calories don't get basically too addicted to it uh, because you know it can lead to things like anorexia or something else uh, which yes there, there is no risk and I'm aware of it but I don't think knowledge <laughs> Um, with a, a stable sound mind um, is something to be avoided I believe that knowledge is power <laughs> um, or potential power anyway so today I would like to take you to a uh, store and show you around and just point out some foods that may be tripping you up uh, when trying to take control of your diet uh, and maybe show you a few the few options that you may like to replace the excess that you eat of the unhealthy stuff yeah like always you know whatever I point out you don't have to add or cut or anything you know I only encourage that you control it mm -hmm. 